Grade 7, welcome to the NS class of Katu Primary School. Today we're going to talk about invertebrates, we're going to talk about arthropods, and um, the first animal that we're going to talk about is millipedes. Millipedes have many segments. Their segments are round in their body, um, they have four legs on each segment of their body. Um, they got um, they eat and um, they are herbivores and they eat rotting plant materials. Um, they also um, are very actively uh, during the day. Um, so that's about it what I want to say about the millipedes, centipedes are also known as um, as carnivores, they are carnivores that eat other um, insects. Um, they have flat segments on their body and they got two legs on each segment. They eat insects and, and earthworms and also some snails. They are very actively during the night and you will always find them um, also beneath uh, tree stumps and also between uh, between dead leaves and so forth. Okay, so that is centipedes and millipedes. The next animal that we're going to have a look at is crabs. Crabs um, are divided in two pieces. Um, they have a capelophorax and also a dominant. Um, they, the skin or they actually their hard shell on the outside is soapy. They um, are part of um, the the family of lobsters and also shrimps and prawns and mussels. Um, you will find that crabs have ten legs, uh, and the front legs um, are also um, is the uh, pinchers uh, that they use actually to uh, grab the they prey and to hold it. They got some feelers above their mouthpieces. Um, if you look at their mouthpieces, um, their mouthpieces are almost like scissors. They are carnivores. Um, they are also known as scavengers. Uh, they also love to eat some dead fish um, that dies in the ocean or in dams or rivers. Okay, so they... Um, they also have eyes that is um, uh, on top of some um, some stalks um, that they can that they can see very well with. Um, crabs like to move sideways. They are not moving many times forward. They love to move sideways, and that's why they use their eyes then to shift it to um, both sides. A nice and interesting thing about crabs is that they are able to breathe on land. Although they are breathing with gills like a fish, they have a, a chamber where they store some water. And while they are moving on land to feed on some dead fish or prey, they can use the water in their bodies um, that they have stored to um, actually breathe. They use the oxygen in the water to breathe on land. When the oxygen becomes less, they go back into the water, um, refill the, uh, the chambers, and then they're actually um, able to move on land again. Crabs um, lay eggs, uh, so they are oviparous, and they lay eggs, and then the baby crabs always look like the mother okay so that's about it that i want to say about crabs okay the next animal that we are going to look up uh, to is arachnids uh, and we're going to talk about the spider spiders are a very interesting creatures and the many people are fearful for them um, but they are, have a very very important um, place in the the ecosystem so um, this group of um, animals um, are called arachnids. Um, they have eight legs and that is what they are distinguished by. If you see an um, any animal that looks the same as them but have less than eight legs, they are not spiders or arachnids. Okay, so firstly, it's, uh, they are divided also like the crab in... Um, Cephalophorax and also a dominum. Um, 
that they um, are divided by. They breathe um, by the backside of their body on the abdomen. They have book lungs where they breathe through um, and they do not breathe through their mouth part. Okay, so uh, these animals have many times big fangs that they use. They are carnivores, they hunt. They are hunters that hunt other insects. Uh, so they use their feelers to feel the food and also um, then they use their fangs to bite into um, their prey and they inject their prey with venom and then um, many times the venom causes the intestines or the, the, um, the heart and the lungs of those animals to, uh, uh, to form a liquid and then uh, spiders actually can, can suck out the, um, the remains of that um, insect or their the prey. They have a very good eyesight. They have eight eyes on their heads um, that they use um, to actually see, so they can see very well. Um, they are very fast and um, they have great agility. Um, so they um, move and they, they also jump. Uh, many of them um, also spin some webs that they uh, use to catch their prey. Um, so they, um, they are very clever animals as well um, that think where they can catch their prey the easiest. So uh, that is spiders. So spiders are many times venomous for people as well. Um, so it is important to look out for these guys. So remember, they are not out there to attack us as humans, although when you threaten them, um, when they feel threatened, they will not hesitate to attack. Okay, so that is very important about these uh, wonderful animals. Uh, their family is the scorpion. Scorpions are also known as arachnids and also um, ticks. Ticks are also part of the family of arachnids. Okay, so the next animal that we are going to have a look at is in insects. Uh, and we're going to have a look at the grasshopper. Insects are known by the six feet or six legs they have. Okay, we look at the, the um, grasshopper. Firstly, um, grasshoppers are divided in three parts, the head, the thorax at the, and the abdomen. Okay, so if we look at the head part, we can see that, um, that uh, they have feelers or antenna that actually helps them to indicate where they can go into spaces. They got um, three small eyes or s uh, simple eyes that they call, and then they have this compound eye that is two eyes that consist out of many, many other eyes. Okay, so in the thorax part, uh, we find the six legs attached. There is very strong muscles also attached in that part um, that they use to, um, to move around. They have the small, uh, four small legs that they can walk easily with and they use their the hind legs or their very strong, strong legs at the back to jump around and that's why they are called um, they many times you see grasshoppers jumping around. Okay, so the dominant and um, the wings are also attached to the the thorax. Uh, they got two sets of wings. So the first wings at the top are have a hard cover. Um, that is the top wing, and then the the wing beneath the top wing. Um, we call it uh, the smaller. It's a, a very light material. Um, that they use actually to fly around. So the hard wing at the top is always a cover for the, uh, the, the bottom wing that actually is a very um, easily um, breakable or damageable material. Um, in the abdomen, the most, uh, most of the time the eggs in the female will occur, also the stigmata. Um, that they use to breathe through 
Um, the stigmata is small holes on the side of the abdomen that the, the, uh, the grasshopper use to actually breathe through. Okay, so um, there they have the stigmata. So that's about uh, what I want to say. Um, remember, um, grasshoppers also lay eggs. Just like spiders, they also lay eggs and, and the eggs hatch in, um, in, the, uh, in the soil eventually and firstly the the grasshoppers can't fly and then they walk around um, known as uh, a small grasshoppers and then eventually um, they get their wings um, and they are able then to to, to fly around uh, the reproduction of grasshoppers um, we're going to look at the fly Flies, um, they have this life cycle um, that they lay eggs, um, especially they like to lay the eggs on food. I remember uh, flies are also insects, so they uh, lay these eggs. Uh, the eggs become uh, this uh, larvae um, that um, is a small worm that feed on the food where they have laid the eggs. You'll see many times in the dustbins uh, we find these uh, small um, light color worms um, called larvae and then um, we, f we find uh, that the larvae eventually becomes a, a pupa and, um, and then the, the adult fly will actually hatch from the pupa um, later on. So um, there's also a, we call it a, a, call a metamorphosis that the, um, the fly goes through or insects goes through. Okay, so many times we can see that. Okay, so the next animal we have a look at is the garden snail. Garden snails are um, actually um, animals that have eyes on um, their feelers um, at the top and then they also are herbivores. You find um, the snails many times in the shade because they have a hydroexoskeleton. Um, they breathe, they have a breathing opening just on the side of the um, shell. And then also they have feelers to feel their, um, to feel their food, what they are eating. Then um, snails have a, a muscular foot that they use to walk. Um, uh, they also use a slime that they release from their body. Remember, um, they have um, a lot of slime that they use actually to move on this foot. Now, that is why it is important for snails not to come near um, salt, because salt will dehydrate them. They will, you will always find um, snails um, in the shade, where they are not exposed to a lot of sh sunlight. Okay, so uh, lastly, we have a look at the earthworm. Earthworms are um, these uh, long creatures that we find um, uh, many times they have a very important uh, place in the ecosystem because they are decomposers they um, use old um, um, old anim plant material rotten plant material that they eat and they also releases the uh, the feces in the in the soil that is very um, good for the soil's health and um, that uh, plants can absorb these feces coming from earthworms. Okay, so earthworms help uh, the balance in our soil a lot. Okay, so if you have uh, of them in your garden, um, please protect them and um, you are privileged to have them. They move around in the soil, they, you will see that they have a sharp um, edge, the front part. Um, have the, um, they move through the soil by some hairs on their body um, and then they uh, move their muscles, they, um, um, they contract their muscles and relax their muscles and the hairs help them to actually move through the soil um, and then actually help them to reach the destination. They um, they breathe through the moist skin. Um, they are uh, dependent upon um, a moist environment. Okay, so, and then um, 
the reproduction, um, the two earthworms will always lie to one another, next to one another, and then they exchange the sexual cells to one another. Okay, so um, this is about um, the different kinds of animals um, called invertebrates. I hope you have learned something about the different animals.